Hello friends, thanks for joining us. Today, it's Christmas time, and Christmas is beer time. My buddy Peter's here with us, and we're yes. gonna drink some Christmas brew. I love it. Are we brothers from another mother that we just didn't even know about? Rotating farts in your cap. Love it. Smells better. <laughs> Whatever. More. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I feel like after a few, my ability to even... <laughs> yeah. I'm Joshua. Hi, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Maya. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Thank you for joining us. This is a very special episode that came as a recommendation from people that watch us eating Danish candy, and they said we should be eating or drinking Danish beer. And I thought, what better time to do that than Christmas time? Exactly. And so, yeah, and so I invited my good friend Peter here. Um, you wanna introduce yourself and sure. say something? I'm Peter, I'm just his friend. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I just came for the beer. <laughs> you brought some though too. I did. I did. Uh, I, I've known Peter for I guess basically two and a half years, right when I moved here, and uh, and he's been a friend, kind of a work colleague in a way. Um, but I will say this one thing about Peter, and I talk about Danes sometimes on this channel, mm -hmm. and I will say it's a rare exception for a Dane to invite somebody into their home. And Peter has had my and I to his house, and yeah. it meant a lot to us when you had us over. So thank you, Peter. And, and the invite is now returned to my house to drink some beer. Thank you. And uh, here we go. So, Peter, why don't you announce some of what, what's happening here because you've done an amazing job to prepare us for today. Yeah, sure. So, uh, I thought I love beer, uh, I love numbers, uh, and uh, so everything uh, is measured in, 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 in numbers and data and want to be visualized. So, you all know this, or at least a representation of that. That's, uh, uh, magic quadrant so we know some different uh, software measured by different uh, metrics uh, and then shown in a chart so I thought we'd do somewhat the same thing uh, here today uh, with this wonderful uh, quadrant this is a, a magic beer battle quadrant yeah. and uh, so th the thought is that we you and I yes will measure the beers in in terms of uh, how how uh, Christmassy it is, and how 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 great of a beer it is, and then we'll do the averages, and then stick some some uh, stickers on the board afterwards. and fill out the magic quadrant of Christmas beer. Yeah, super and cool. We should be super thorough, I think. Yeah. So so if we're in doubt, we'll just have to try it again. <laughs> Very good idea. Very okay. good. So and we're going to be drinking from these fantastic glasses mm. that I got when I was in Eru last weekend Ooh. from the uh, Eru Brewery. Is that how you'd say that? How would you say that? Eru Brewery. Yeah. But I got See, it. that's why I have you here <laughs> <laughs> to help me. These will be our glasses for consumption and uh, I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while actually and I've been, been telling everybody that this is what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, so we already discussed what we would start with. And uh, we're gonna begin with this beer, which is uh, when Miranda and I went to Gaonu mm -hmm. um, for the Christmas market a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We picked up some of their Yule Brew, mm -hmm. and uh, I did not taste it, so I have no idea what it tastes like. So that word you just put in there, is that Christmas brew? Yeah, Julebrook. 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 Yeah, Julebrook. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> Whatever. We could spend 10 minutes just on that probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, and I can tell that the gown, this, this, this castle, uh, where this come, it, it's got a, a beautiful uh, uh, flowered garden. Yeah, yeah. Let me make sure we each get enough. Yeah. We're not going to say how many beers we have. Nope. Just in case we don't get to all of them. Or, or had before <laughs> or coming had, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that too. And uh, I have schnapps if we need to change over oh, at yeah, some point. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, so it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's good. It's a good start. It's a good start. Mm. And it's got 
this uh, caramelish kind of flavor uh, that I mean that is Christmas isn't it yeah. a little bit yeah. Yeah. and a good smell of Christmas I think yeah and these air glasses are good for smelling while you're drinking mm. very well designed glass this is exactly what I expect from a Danish Christmas beer yeah I'll be honest it's yeah. like the exact taste I feel like I mean I've had other ones obviously and uh, this is meets all the expectations yeah so it, it's it's not an explosion of taste right it's yeah. round that yeah. sweet slightly sweet a little bitterness yeah so a little I'm, bitter I'm not a big fan of bitter so that I'm not yeah so Christmas is your kind of beer probably yeah, yeah. it's it's not very bitter yeah yeah so this does have bitterness I would agree mm. so in terms of I drank mine too fast, maybe. Nah. <laughs> You're basing oh, yeah. yourself. <laughs> so, so uh, are, are we gonna try this thing yes, out? This rating system. Yeah. So this one on my right, so on your left, obviously, yeah. uh, is, is is how beerish I think it is. Yeah. And this one is is uh, how Christmassy it is. And maybe I'm gonna start with a Christmassy thing because it was quite Christmassy, but it was not like overwhelmingly yeah. Christmassy. So and, and for beer, I would say it's a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I think. Okay. Yeah. And but, by beer, it's more just like regardless. Yeah. If you're just drinking this. Yeah. How much? How likable? How, how likable it is yeah. as a beer. Exactly. Regardless of the Christmas piece yeah. of it. For beer, I put it right on the borderline between good and great. Because mm -hmm. this is, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the the little bitterness that I tasted, but I still like this kind of beer for sure mm. and uh, it moved a little for Christmassy I put it in the good mm -hmm. only because I've had a few other ones that I know I mean at this point I'm already trying to compare it to other ah. stuff that I like a little bit more than experience. this experience yes experience it comes with experience <laughs> and so this is where I land I land at a like between good and great yeah and the beer scale mm -hmm. and on the Christmas scale in good solidly but not quite great okay on beer i'm on like good it's 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 not gonna be a beer that i'm gonna rush down to the supermarket and, and buy because um I'm, I'm 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 open but but it's it's like a medium beer for me i think it's it's well in christmasy so so i would say somewhere in great mm -hmm. for me so uh so i would say the average would be it's a it's a good beer and it's just a little towards great uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in Christmassy. So that would put it. So it's a an average beer, yeah. and it's a little above here. So pretty much in the center here. That's a good start, isn't very it? Good. Yeah, I think that is a very good start. And we don't even need any of the. Uh, uh, I, I've already drank. It's already affected me, and I can't even remember who makes the magic quadrants. All of a sudden, <laughs> Forrester. We don't need Forrester or Gartner to help us here. Negative. Negative. We got it right in the middle for beer number Seriously. one. Let me finish this one. Yes, do it. So Miranda is not uh, partaking in this. Yeah. Um, luckily. Luckily. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's gonna get us some food though. Yeah. And uh, so we can eat at some point and not just consume beer. And Maya is at after school this weekend, so mm -hmm. she hasn't actually been in any videos in a bit because she's been at after school a ton, mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't seen her in a while. So that's why it's you and me. Good. Let's uh, why not do beer the next number one. two. Yep. Okay. So this one, I'm gonna let you say the name because I say it wrong every time. No, no, no. no. Don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think your Danish is well. <laughs> Hesle. Yep. Hesle Brujos. Hesle Brujos. Yeah. The the G is very hard. Brujos. Brujos. Yeah. Um, so we went there, I guess it's been almost, uh, it was, it was, yeah, a month ago because we went basically the day after what should have been J-Day. Mm. So and, explain uh, what is J-Day in Denmark. Yeah, J-Day in Denmark. So we'll, we'll drink later the Tsubor, yeah. which is meant for J-Day, but that's the, uh, that's the, the beginning of the Christmas season in my mind. And it's where the Christmas brews come out and mm. Tsubor is out in the city, passing them out yeah. free. They didn't do it this year, but... So we tried to make up for that by going to this brewery and getting some uh, Yule Brew. We tried, I drank a little bit of this there already, mm -hmm. uh, but we brought a bunch back and other beers too. Mm -hmm. And actually there's a, I shot some stuff because one of my friends went with us. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a Christmas video, hopefully, 
and I've got some footage from this brewery that will be inside that video. So awesome. check that out when the time comes. But for now, we're gonna drink this guy. Hesle. 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 Yeah. This one's bigger yeah. than the other one. <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Similar in color. Yeah. I have I haven't tasted this one either, but I I, uh, I noticed that it's it's got orange in it. Yeah. And orange is really one of my favorite tastes. So well, we still got more. some left. I want to make yeah. sure we're yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of even here. Of course. Maybe. All right. Close enough. There we go. Yes. I like this unfiltered look of a beer. Yeah. It means that you you can't Smooth. see the bottom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. So, very is, last second. You cannot see through it at all. Mm. There's a sweetness to this. Mm. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so bitter as the last one. No, there, I felt a little, tasted a little bitterness at the very beginning, mm. but then the sweetness took over, I yeah. guess, from the orange and... <clears throat> Can I complain about this for a moment, by the way? Yeah. I'm just not about the beer, about the word orange in Danish. Yeah. As an American, mm. it's super an English speaker, mm. I guess would be. I find it um, challenging because it looks so much like the word apple. Apples eaten. Yeah. Apples in. Apples and in so wine. when I didn't know Danish, yeah. I'd look at that and be like, oh, well, it must be apple. Yeah. And it's not apple. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I like it. I don't think it's super Christmassy. It, I no. expected it to be more Christmassy. To be honest. Yeah, and maybe the orange actually yeah. makes it a little less Christmassy in a way. Yeah, I, I thought I, it would be more Christmassy. Chris, Christmassy, I think, has a little bit more scent, like cinnamon, but just like spicy oh, yeah. kind of to it, much like what happens to like Luke and stuff. Mm. Um, and it doesn't have that, you're right. <clears throat> so I already have something in mind. Yeah. And that's the Christmassy. It's gonna go a little further yeah. down. I feel like we didn't just, the, 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 if you can't see it's yikes, just bad, good, great mm. beer. Yeah. So it's certainly not bad. No, it's not bad. So. But yes, this is this is where this is where I'm at. Yeah. So. So. It's it's a good beer. I have absolutely. I have it. I have it up into the great. Yeah. In the beer. I think yeah, mine is. Yeah. yeah. But then on the Christmassy, I'd agree with you. It's not bad, but yeah. it's like at the very edge of almost. Yeah. I think we're pretty similar on I this one. I think this is you and me agreeing. Yeah, I think we've agreed. Well, yeah. this we've we've really we've united. Yeah. So. The countries. Uh, so here it is, Hasle Boykus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and can you put your finger, because it would be uh, not very Christmassy, but a pretty decent beer. I think that'd be down. Yeah. Just put it over to the right a little bit more. Yeah. Right. No, no, the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it is a good beer. It is. Look at that. That's two down. Two down. This is. 45 to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta say. I love that you did all this. This is the coolest thing. Of I course. mean, this is the best. And I'm gonna keep. I mean, if I can keep it, I don't know. Of you course, know. No, no. this will. If, whoever keeps it, yeah. this is going to be on display year round. This think, is going to be a great memory. I think we should talk about what the quadrants uh, say. Here. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So this one down here, where it's not very Christmassy and it's really not that good of a beer, it says just hmm, well, beer, right? And then when it gets a little more Christmassy, it's just a Christmassy beer. The upper left one. The lower right one is just really good beer, but not very Christmassy. And the top right one is, of course, awesome Christmas beer. Yeah, so if, you, if you're gaining, going for a Christmas beer, that's where you want to be. Yeah, and in reality, yeah, yeah. In reality, this is okay, but these beers are only available at Christmas time. Yeah. So the problem is if it actually is a really good beer, but not Christmassy, mm. we're not gonna be able to get it. I mean, basically only yeah. a couple more weeks and they're gone. So that would actually be a very controversial quadrant because it's gonna be the forgetting beer yeah. quadrant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go here yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or here during Christmas. And this yeah. one is not very Christmassy and you can't buy it exactly. all year, all year round. round. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, here's Lou. Oh, sorry about Herslu. that one. <laughs> it was a good beer. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to have this uh, Eru. 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 
F no. <laughs> Uh, I see there's lines on it. Yeah. Um, oh, so, the, this is the same one as the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Miranda and I went there last weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't get to go to the brewery. It was closed by the time we got there, but we were at a cafe that had, I drank one of the beers there, mm -hmm. and uh, and then they had bottles that we bought and got the glasses. And uh, I really liked, even though we were barely in the place, mm -hmm. and the town was like five, six hours there. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to go spend time in the summer. It's yeah. a really. Have you been to the island before? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's like in the very center of Denmark. Yeah. Just south of the uh, of the island Funen. Yeah. Small little island, uh, very very uh, romantic uh, little island, and not a lot of bus. It's just small old houses, yeah. nice Very restaurants, cafes. Calm, quiet, yeah. nice relaxing. beaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they were windy and cold when we were there, but yeah, obviously. You, 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 you get around in Denmark. I mean, I do what I can, my friend. Yeah, I want to do you guys proud. Yeah. <laughs> you got the opener over there. Oh, yep. <clears throat> so next time you are there, I, I would recommend you to try and figure out why they have this this lion thing going on. And, uh, well, I'll actually go to make sure I, and bird. I'll make sure to go to the actual brewery next time, yeah. since uh, this time when we went to the brewery it was closed. Yeah, because then I could find out a bit more about yeah. it. Nice color. Yeah, it's super. I gave you a little bit more. Are you okay with that? Yep. Uh, always. <laughs> so I know about this beer uh, that they didn't put too much additives in. So this is an ale, right? Mm. So. Not too much additive, really dark. Super dark. Beautiful color. Ah. And crystal clear. Um, and very nice smell. Scent, that is. I Price. taste a little spicy too, yeah. a little bit. And it's very caramelish. Yeah, it's definitely not bitter, which is what nope. they mentioned as well. And actually, ale is one of my favorites. Uh, so I like. Ale and I like Christmas, so Christmas ale is one of my favorites. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, and even ale is one of my favorite islands in Denmark. Well, this is checking all the boxes. Exactly. <laughs> we need a we need an island meter. <laughs> Although this may be the only one that came yeah. from an island. And so I, I can almost feel this relaxed. Yeah. This sensation of being on ale right and now. This, it's a nice relaxed yeah. beer. Well, that's an interesting uh, element to this then, because it's bringing. The, the, the feeling of the island to you while you drink it. Yeah. Ah. It's transcending the beer into something else. So, what's your thought on this one? I, I well, uh, first of all, this is the first one that I'm starting to feel. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> but, so that uh, brings it all the way. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, this is my favorite so far. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I'm with you. This one, right? Yeah, this feels Christmassy to me. Yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe we are brothers. <laughs> <laughs> because I think similar. I didn't peek, but I, I was I was a little bit more in the in, into the. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, but still. Yeah, so it's it's uh, very Christmassy and it's a damn good beer. It is very good. Yeah, from Eru. So it's all the way up here. Yeah, look at that. So let me see. Yeah, it's not not all the way to the yeah, top yeah, right corner, yeah, yeah, but it's. Yeah. Very good. This is Christmas Ale. Very special brewery. Great taste, amazing beer. From Tista. Tista, so, yeah. Tista, do you know what Tista is? Uh, no. Okay, but uh, so this is in Jylland, but never mind. I can tell we, we got a saying in Denmark uh, where uh, we got Tista and Ringsted. So Tista, do you know what Tista means? No. It's just probably a, a, a word of a city, but it also means peeing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we got Rengste. Yeah, is that pooping? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. You, you were <laughs> teeing me up for that. Yeah, so, so it's <laughs> Reng, it's a cold. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. So we got a saying, do you know what the difference between Tista and Rengste is? Uh, no. What? So you can, you can, uh, Du kan ringe fra Ringsted til Tisted, men du kan ikke tisse fra Tisted til Ringsted. It means you can call from Ringsted, yeah, yeah. call place yeah, yeah, yeah. to Tisted. Tisted, but you can't pee. pee. But you can't pee. To Ristel. <laughs> exactly. I see, I see. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why I love Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is very comfortable chairs. You know, we got, we, we got these when uh, this whole thing, the tables and the chairs, mm -hmm. we got like immediately after we got married. So Miranda was saying the other day that to be vintage, something has to be like 25 years old or something. Mm -hmm. So just in a couple of years, these will be vintage. Oh, nice. From like a room that, that, you know, I don't, I'm sure you experience this as well, right? When you first get married and you're young, just to be able to buy furniture seems like a big accomplishment. <laughs> we bought this whole thing and we've had it since. Cheers, yeah. So this is, this is actually, and this is again a nail. I love it. I, I, I hope. You haven't had it yet. No, no. <laughs> but I love ale. That I know. I gotta say, I really like the last one. Mm. If I had only had this, I would feel differently about it. Yeah. But the fact that I really like the last one, that's making me struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's... Plus, I've already drank more beer than I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> My taste buds are slowly... Yeah. I think that um, this one is well can you say intriguing sure yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's waking me up and it's intriguing my senses i i like that it tastes differently yeah, yeah. i i don't think it's particularly christmasy no no it's not at all. it's 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 different there's a, just a hint of very small hint of christmas mm. into the brownish yeah yeah i think i was a little harsh when setting the the names for these. Yeah, I, know, I know because yeah. it's basically like, like horrible, maybe not so horrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like. <laughs> so let's let's just think of these as as like going from one to five. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and then for the beer. Sorry. Are you also like this? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Plus I have like acid reflux coming so. Yeah. But I took some pills earlier to be prepared. Yeah, so I'm I'm going with. Uh, I feel like after a few, my ability to even. <laughs> yeah, so I'm 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 a little because maybe I'm a little biased because yeah, 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 I, yeah. I like ale and oh, brown yeah. ale. Uh, I really like this Spanish brown. Actually. Oh yeah, it's super good. We should have brought a Spanish. I know. I look today. I went to uh, yeah. a little because yeah. they have Spanish beers. Yeah, they didn't have any. Mm. They didn't have any Christmas. I, I, I ones. feel we, we need to do a an episode two. Just around Spanish beers. Oh just about more Christmas beer. Yeah yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> might end up being two episodes. <laughs> yeah. So let's put a dot in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we're I'm on a really good beer. Uh, and and not very Christmassy. So it, it's just around maybe here. Yeah, yeah. So, which is too bad because it actually has the word Christmas. Yeah. Like Christmas. It's not even Yule. It's like nope. it, the, the word Christmas yeah. is on the label. Yeah. I'm mm. just, I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> I think we are talking too much, drinking too little. Yeah. This is, uh, so this is a traditional Danish guy. I mean, I mean, you, you, I've only been here a couple of years, so. Yeah, so I love this beer. Has this label ever changed? Nope. Well, not in my lifetime. Well, I have to say I'm disappointed because we bought a glass. Mm -hmm. I collect beer glasses, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uh, Yule Brew glass from Tubor broke. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I still have the broken glass. <laughs> but, <you> know, <laughs> really? Yeah, just don't drink from it. I need <laughs> okay. to get a new one. Yeah, here you go. So this is really sparking some, some, some good memories for me because uh, Every J day, wow. you would be running out, and there is this tradition that that uh, Tuborg, who's the manufacturer of this beer, um, that they would be driving out into the streets of Copenhagen and whatever city, and just uh, loading a lot of free beer into the uh, bars and streets. I don't Sorry, know. Well, Miranda's off camera. Yep. She gets the little bits left. Yeah, out. of course. <laughs> so you. Go out on J Day, get free Christmas beer, which is like for a student or something. Uh, it's like, like, like it's like Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. So it makes sense. Yes. <laughs> and, we and did, we did it once. Like we went out down. I guess it was our second year here. I feel like it was. Or was it our first year here? Because this would be our third mm. J Day mm. if it happened. Mm. You didn't go though. No, I had a work thing. I think there was like it, it was like aligned with a work thing and so I met up with Miranda and Maya later um, but I did catch the uh, 
excitement of free yeah. beer and stuff uh, yeah. in the streets. Particularly between the, cans. the ages of 15 to 25. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> which is uh, which I'm right in that. I'm right in that. <laughs> yeah. Mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that. Yeah. So there is actually, and, and maybe you're going to edit that one in, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there is this uh, ad for Juleboy, for Tupo Juleboy, uh, Christmas beer. Right. Yeah, you can edit it in. Oh, it's been forever. It. Yeah, it's been forever. It's been the same one every year. So when you're in the cinema uh, or on some channels, you can you can see this, this commercial, and it's just like brings back memories. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't have those memories, but I'm glad to create them now. Yeah, that I'm here. So I haven't tasted this beer for maybe ten years. It's weird. I think it's better than ten years ago. Wow. I mean, I do think it's more. I don't know the right way to put it, but what I would say carbonated or mm. just like more, yeah, just like bubbles and yeah. you know stuff to it that makes that, that is the, the Danish uh, typical beer style. Mm. It's more carbonized, right? like very unlike the, the Newcastle Brown Ale, mm. which is very low carbonized. Yeah, this is this is kind of the benchmark of Christmas beer for mm -hmm. me. So it's gonna be. Not all the way up there, top right, but it's going to be a good beer. So what I do is I make sure I have it at least to last me through Easter mm. when I switch to the Husker Brew. Mm. <clears throat> if I can at least make it that long, and that's the advantage of having a case. Yeah. So maybe you should put Husker Brew, that is Easter Brew. Yeah. Because And maybe that's another video that we'll, <laughs> we'll do. I can't. I'm available that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is filling up. I think so. As we, I hope we may need Miranda to help us put these on eventually. <laughs> she might <laughs> need to. There you go. Look at yeah. that. It's it's starting to look like a real a real magic a, beer magic battle. Quadrant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we don't have anything down here, so luckily. So, <laughs> maybe yeah. we will later. We'll yeah. see. Let's see. Let's see. You did yes. So um, I know nothing about this. So yeah. but. It feels like it's going to be heavy. It's it's a double. It's a dark double, and it's actually brewn brown by uh, one of my friends, Sune, and uh, they made a somewhat decent beer, uh, stage one and two, and then they ended up making uh, one batch after the other that was actually pretty good. And they instead of uh, of just making it a hobby, they actually made it a living, or, mm. or at least uh, adding to their living. And uh, now they have four really good uh, beer makers mm -hmm. in my local city and uh, making really damn awesome beer. Uh, you can even have a, a subscription for this. Oh, nice. Well, I um, haven't. Oh, there we go. Yes, Barley Field. And, and, and so this one, uh, Sune, he, he passed on to me uh, as, as a, a really good Christmas beer. And it's I'm expecting it to be heavy. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah. well. It, it has the word dark in it. Yeah. Well, and you also have coasters that maybe we can start I using. I do have coasters. Even. So to uh, to save your uh, your lovely table. This vintage, soon to be vintage table. Yeah. yeah. How many years from now? Yeah, I think like four. I don't know, five. We've been married 20 years, five years. Okay. All right. She, oh, Ooh. shit, that looks like, <laughs> that looks like motor oil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. This is massive. This is super heavy. So actually, I like supporting Sune and his uh, local brewery guys. Uh, so he said that I got some beer that you can have, and I said, "Oh, I want to, I want to go buy it." Mm. It was sold out. Ah. So luckily, he had two bottles left, and yeah. and and this is one of them. Ah. So we yeah. got like very special reserve. Yeah. This handheld by the brewmaster himself. Straight to us. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So cheers soon. Cheers, yeah, yeah. So first of all, let me tell you that I'm not sure if these glasses are even helping at this point. I feel mm. like everything's blurry. <laughs> glasses on, glasses <laughs> off. So this is really a nice beer. And this is is this slightly Christmassy, maybe? But maybe it, closer to a really good beer. Than, Can you than get this year-round? Uh, well, the thing about uh, Barley Field beer is that they only make one... They, they 
they they keep changing their batches. Yeah, yeah. so just constant. So yeah. nothing's there for very nope, long. No, nope. yeah. no. So you need to be there when they. Yeah. I think that is probably why they made this uh, subscription thing, where you can get uh, a case of 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 their uh, monthly beer, um, six or twelve bottles uh, a month, uh, and, and then you will not never see it again. Yeah. You will probably find some some that are close to what you had before, but will never be exactly the same. Mm. As uh, in art. <laughs> there you go. Look at you. <laughs> You're getting super deep now, Peter. Oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like, are we brothers from another mother that yeah, we just didn't uh, even know about, Peter? I same mean, thought. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I, exactly, I felt like it was, because I, I, this is the kind of beer that I would love just to sit and have a dinner, for yeah. sure. <clears throat> So I would say that maybe it's it's somewhere here. It's it's not super Christmassy, but it's really good beer. Yeah. But I guess from what you described, Christmas or no Christmas, if you like a beer from Bartlefield, it's gonna rotate out anyway, regardless yeah. of <laughs> yeah. it's just how how it works there because they oh, because they have so many different beers. Look at that! It is looking like a serious magic quadrant, mm. and so far, I think we're very positive in the beer. I think so, and. We're not very negative. Yeah, I think it will only go further. That way, eventually it'll be <laughs> yeah. we'll to like add, it, add a little extension over here. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Just ate some bratwurst, but before we drink beer again, yep. I need you to try something. What is that? This, in our last video, or two videos ago, yep. we posted about, this one looks better. This is an oatmeal cream pie, which is a little Debbie mm. snack from America that a good friend of ours shipped to us. It looks like a massive Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, but it's it's a little bit soft, and uh, and so this would be this is exciting for me because it's rare that I see oatmeal cream pie virgins, and so yeah, to be here with somebody experiencing an oatmeal cream pie for the first, I so you know this is like my favorite, my favorite snack. Really. I bring these back when I go to America. Looks very nice. It looks like uh, two chocolate chip cookies with something in between. But it's it's not chocolate though. It's it's. Mm. Mm. Like it? Yeah. This is like, by the way, just for you to know, gold in our house. So you've just been given something oh, wow. of extreme value. How many carrots? <laughs> extreme oh, oh. value. Wow. Because we only have a couple boxes, so there's not a ton to ton to just. There's no chance you can buy. Hand out to people. No, you can't no, buy it in Denmark. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, Oatmeal. Cream pie. Cream pie. This is from uh, Skolust. Can you say Skolust? Skolust. Yeah, close enough. Um, I had been to the brewery mm -hmm. and had some really good uh, small bro there lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, out in the forest. Mm -hmm. It was quite nice. It is. But I have not had the uh, yogurt yet. So Skolus is a small brewery in the middle of the forest, uh, close to where I live. And uh, they started off with very small batches and only two or three different kinds of beer. And now they're probably one of the bigger brands in Denmark. And apart from Carlsberg, two Yeah, And they're quite affordable. I would say, yeah. When you go to the, the grocery. Mm. So I've had a bunch of different ones because they're, you know, just not as expensive as the imports from other countries. And we're not pouring it all now so that one, we could survive the evening. And two, so Miranda, who's off camera, can try some. Because <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> she's with us now. Mm. Having made some wonderful brats just a little while ago. Did you make them in beer? I did. Oh, she made them in beer. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very Wisconsin approach to brat making. It's mm. quite good. Try the smell and the scent. Yeah. This is very Christmassy. Very, I would give it a very high on the Christmassy <laughs> scale. Yes. I mean, the very first sip tasted like Christmas. Yeah, and even the smell. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like pine, I would say. The, 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 the scent of the tree. Or is that your tree, maybe? <laughs> no, no, because ours is fake, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We also were like Disney. We pipe in fake pine smells to mm. go with our Christmas tree. <clears throat> mm. Actually, this is the most Christmassy beer I think I've ever had. Ever? Like, yeah. And yeah. you, like, like your whole life? Yeah, because Holy this. Holy moly! Yeah, this is like, this is like the scents and the the spices of Christmas. Yeah. 
I can almost feel a snowball coming. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because what we didn't mention, by the way, <clears throat> our friendship has transcended transcended into music. It has. And we've gone to, I can, I was thinking at least two. I feel like it's only been two. I think it's three. Or is there another one? Yeah. Uh, we went to Rival Sons together at yeah. Vega, which was phenomenal. We went to Durant Jones and the Indications in in, uh, in Christian's yeah. Christian Town, which is what's the name of the Grohead? No, Go no, it wasn't at Grohead. It was at the small place up in the. Uh, uh, it was in Grohead. I thought I thought that was the bigger place. It was the bigger place. Oh, uh, I thought this was. Uh, uh, Oberheim. No, it was the bigger place. Right. Okay, I'm gonna trust you. Yeah. But I'm also gonna Google this later. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> so I, you tried to get me to go to Danish concerts, and I've yeah. not been a big uh, taker on those. But you've been, uh, unlike me, you've been super open to going to shows that I've asked you to go to. <laughs> yeah. I need to be more open-minded, I think, yeah. moving forward. But uh, I think post-COVID, yeah. I think we'll uh, we'll do some catching up. On, on behalf of the entire globe and music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's a wise move. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Skolust. Very mm, beer. This is so official looking. I yeah. mean, I love it. <laughs> yes. And, and a beer is like, great. Yeah, I was it's very similar, yes. So yeah. I feel like we're way up in this yeah. area. So I would opinion. say, I think it's here because you go maybe a little further to the right yeah, on yeah. a beer, yeah, but yeah. still very Christmassy. It's That's... like taking over the the upper limit of what is Christmas. And so, if we want to, for I mean, to mention now, we have a you know we have an award basically for the top beer. Yeah. And right now, this is the one that's yeah leading the back. Yeah. Which is the Homer Simpson Duff. I feel like there's Duff in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the Homer Simpson Feliz Navidad Duff yeah. award. award. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so far, this is the one that's uh, yeah. looking like the. Should we like hold it until? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I just yeah. wanted to mention yeah. that we're uh, we're super close. That is like, fair. At the moment, this yeah. is leading the pack. Yeah. There's a lot of good clusters up here, though. I think so. I think we've been lucky. I think I would agree. Or skilled. I skilled at picking the right beers. I like that as an alternative. Right. To luck. So um, let's finish this one, and then I got a surprise for you. Mm. I, I think that that uh, we, we we had a thing before where we were talking about um, about Danish sayings like yeah. "ringste and tista" and stuff. Yeah, and that made me think that maybe I should challenge you on some of the Danish sayings. <laughs> so, uh, so what I'm gonna do yeah. is I'm gonna read them out in Danish okay. first, yeah, and then yeah. you gotta say, Bleh. and then I'm gonna translate them uh -huh. into English. Okay. And I'm not gonna tra translate them into how it would be conceived as as English yeah, yeah. or American English. Yeah. I will translate the words directly, like literally, literally. Yeah, yeah. And then you will tell me if afterwards. It makes sense. No, yeah, that, and then you will tell me what you think it means in okay. Danish. Okay. So, so the first one uh, <clears throat> is "Du skal come here og spille kongulerud." Now I say a, a little bit the uh, accent, Jutland ja, ja, uh, accent. accent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't come here and play king carrot. Just don't bring your attitude over here. Yeah. And say, tell me what to do. Don't come. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, it's pretty close. Like, be the ch think you're better than everyone. Else. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a good good shot. <laughs> So um, we also got a saying here, um, where uh, we say "de er bare ude på Lars Tønskids marker," which means uh, translated directly, it's uh, the field of uh, Lars's diarrhea. Don't make a mistake and eat that because nope. it'll be no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna tell you. Tell me. Yeah. I... So it's just like really far out, yeah, like yeah. beyond the outer skirts of. Oh. Way out there. It's in, like in, in further there's like fields, and yeah. then there's other fields, yeah. then there's yeah, fields really with diarrhea, far, far and out. then there. That's yeah. how far away. You are. Okay, I'm gonna do one last one. I want to use that, by the way, when uh, I talk about places in America. Uh, so I'm gonna do one last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, and I hope that you can guess this one because yeah, yeah. it's a little funny. Can we put on prison? And directly translated, it means uh, can we fart about the price? Yeah. We, yeah, uh, um, 
I don't think I'd, uh, I, I mean, I assume it has to do with discussing a price for something. Yeah. Although I wouldn't typically negotiate through fart sounds. It's possible. That's, I guess it is possible. <laughs> um, but uh, it, I mean, that's interesting. Yeah, I think you've got it already. Yeah. Negotiating about the price. I think it was too easy. Let's do the last one. Okay, one more. Instead, du har roterende fis i kasketten. It's a little bit related to the farting, okay, which yeah. means to be it's, so it's a theme. probably is a theme in Denmark. <laughs> so you have uh, you've got rotating farts in the cap. You have rotating farts in the cap, like your hat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you are. So you have really bad ideas. Uh, well, it's around that topic, but okay. but like rotating farts in your cap. Yeah. I don't know. I I would think yeah. means you're like lunatic. You're, you're lunatic. Right? Yeah. Okay, you're yeah. crazy. Yeah. School. Uh, so don't mind this. Uh, it's just zero point five. That means absolutely nothing. And uh, it's it's called Ellebrück Jule. Okay. I will say first off that the low alcohol is helpful for me at the moment because I've been uh, progressively feeling more <laughs> of the beer. Yes. When we took a break earlier, I was walking around and like maybe I should not move. Yeah. A while. No. So this was obviously uh, very low on alcohol. Yeah. 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 So it it, it shows and it, it kind of makes it a not very Christmassy feeling. No, and also it does have a bit more of the uh, like acidity and mm. and stuff to it. I feel like than. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I would say, if you compare it to an, another non-alcoholic beer, mm -hmm. it's 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 an okay non-alcoholic beer. I mean, what is it with with non-alcoholic beer? What is it missing apart from the yeah. alcohol? I mean, the alcohol obviously, but is the alcohol really giving you that full taste? It does thing? feel like there's elements of the taste that are lost. Yeah. Not lost, but just you know, are a little bit of a. It's too strong to say void, but there's yeah. something <laughs> not quite there. Yeah. And I don't think it's just the alcohol. It does seem to affect the taste. The yeah. alcohol missing does affect the taste a little bit. Yeah. But I'm giving it a little bit of a right on the edge of the just bad, yeah. close to good on the Christmassy because there is a there's a little hint of Christmas in yeah. there. Not I, a ton. I agree. I agree. Again, I feel like you and I. If we'd known each other 20 years ago, man. Mm. So are we all the way, are we hitting the the edge yeah. of... I mean, it's important for all magic. I mean, it has to be an actual quadrant. Yeah. I will say we started like right in the middle. Yeah. And then it's been drifting that way. Yeah. This just feels so official looking. I love what you've done. Anytime. It's so good. So I can do this with yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. With petrol. Yeah, 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 all kinds I mean, of things. Yeah. I mean, so. so I gotta say, I call it Jakobsen, but you call it Jakobsen. Same. Okay. I, That's I the first right. Danish word you pronounced to perfection. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a beer. <laughs> I have to say, we came to Denmark in 2012 on vacation. Yeah. And we went to the Carlsberg Brewery yeah. when we were there and did the tour. Mm -hmm. And I discovered Jakobsen at that point. And whenever I'd come to Denmark, you know, every couple of years to visit a friend for like a weekend, if I was going to Europe for something else, I'd come to Denmark for a day or two. I'd always get Jakobsen. I had friends back home, good friend Mike in St. Louis, who would beg me to get Jakobsen beers whenever I would be in Denmark to bring back to him. Cause I mistakenly brought him one once. And then at that point I had to sacrifice <laughs> my beers whenever I would but it was okay, and uh, so when I moved here, I was so excited about being able to get Jakobsen at any point when I wanted to. It's your prerogative. Yes. Oh, just everything they make is so, so good. Yeah. And Jakobsen is is the father of Danish beer. Uh, I, I, I support that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so he's uh, like... He's like the master of all the great traditions of Danish beer brewing. This is a heavy beer. This is uh, this is this is. Are we getting serious? Yeah, yeah. This has got a seven and a half percent volt. 
what do you, what do you say? Just alcohol volume. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol volume. And um, and um, so after these next couple of beers, it's gonna probably be, be a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, let's see um, what Jakobsen has in store for us. This is one of my favorites. School. School. This is where this glass is perfect because what this glass does is it really contains the aroma mm. with the taste and it's all at once like you're smelling it yeah. while you're drinking it and I immediately was getting sense the scent of, of Christmas while I was drinking it I mean and it's it's got a little hint of bitter which I'm not a fan of but mm. everything else makes it okay yeah this is very Christmassy for me and it's it's not even though it's a heavy beer, it doesn't taste very heavy. It's it doesn't taste heavy, but I do feel like you can taste the alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can, can tell it's alcoholic, but it's not in a heavy way. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. I just realized that you have a uh, a uh, very special beer refrigerator. Yeah, I do. I'll uh, I do. Yes. <laughs> so what I'll do is so I have video footage of that. So I'll show it right now yep. while we're talking about it over us talking about because as a music fan yep. you definitely appreciate the Marshall amp beer fridge I love it yeah which at the time when the video was taken I think was full of just classic or just no I guess it's not too more classic it's just whatever the I guess there's one called classic and then yeah. there's just whatever the green yeah. grown yeah it's just a two more yeah, yeah 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 that's what was in it now it's full of well this isn't in it anymore <sighs> Exactly. <laughs> it's got so, Spanake can, and other uh, Yulbrews in there. I, I can only imagine Josh, 15 years old, yeah, and playing his guitar in the garage or something, and you just put that one in the corner for your <laughs> parents to think it's Take a Gates an amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that would, I mean, the yeah. truth is that you store beers in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's more like you probably bought it last week. <laughs> oh yeah, I just bought it well, uh, when I moved here. I bought it when I moved to Lumbu. So, very Christmassy and um, a good beer. So that sounds like somewhere a yeah. little more to the right, maybe. Yeah. Something around there here. There you go. That's good. Yeah. We are like analysts now. I mean, do we have to do white paper after this? I think so. <laughs> I feel like Plus, we, we need to charge, uh, charge. whoever yeah, 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 consults yeah. us with a thousand dollars an hour. Yeah, exactly. Well, cheers. I wasn't. Yeah, cheers. I wasn't yeah. consulting. I figured I that out. Quit my day job. This is not technically Yule Brew, but it's some winter. Yeah. So it feels like it's worthy of the Sorry. status. I think in Denmark, when you say winter, winter beer, beer would apply to. Uh, yeah. It's a Christmas beer. It just doesn't specifically say that on it, but I would agree with you, yeah. which is why I bought it, Matt. So, oh, you already did that. <laughs> <laughs> that time. It's that time. Yeah. We didn't even get the super heavy alcoholic one yet. So, how how does super heavy quadruple sound to you? Right at this very moment, or yeah. typically? Typically. <laughs> typically, I would say this would be super fantastic on like a. Uh, Sunday evening as I wrap up the weekend, mm. you know, have something a little heavier with my meal, mm. and uh, that's I'm I'm game with that. Yeah. Now at this very moment, on the other hand, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, let's let's try it. School, school. But here we are in the in in the interest of 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 uh, science. Science, yes. <laughs> but we had brought a little while ago. So, uh, this is actually better than I expected, I would say. It, it, though, I don't know, I, I know you don't like too bitter beer, uh, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of nuances. So, I think we're, we're somewhere just southwest of the oh, counter. No. I, would, yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. So, let's stick it on. Boom! It's like, it's not going to be a beer that I will be shopping for anytime soon. That's too bad. I'm pretty sure it was like 45 Corona or something too. Mm. I mean, you know, these beers. Yeah. Or uh, Femofeu. Yeah. So, I'm trying to learn Danish beer. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, give yeah, me some. 45. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, let's let's do another one. Um, 
Jeg får bare lange løg. I'm getting long onions. Long onions. Yes. So, so it, it's the, the part of the male anatomy. Yes. That kind of gets a little longer. Yeah, sure. And that, that, that that's to say, would you say that to a person? Like, no, no. no. I, I, I would say that it just makes me get long onions. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it like a term of endearment to something? I don't know. I would say that it's it's probably... Is that like cattle calling? Like, you know, would construction workers say that when a person walks by? Oh, she's giving me long onions. <laughs> no, 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 actually the opposite. Oh. It's, it's like it, this situation like really pisses me off or it, it's really not... It, it's really bothers me or pisses me off. Yeah, okay. yeah something like that. And it, that leads to long onions. Yeah, so I think... <laughs> hey, but... But then, when you fix things, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. and everything is all so, good. Yeah. So you would say something like, um, "Alting flasker sig nu." So translated, it would see sound like uh, everything is bottling itself right now. Okay. Everything is but that means it's all working out well. It's all. It's taking care of itself. It's going so good. Exactly. Flasca say new. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. It, it's, it's just working out beautifully. Oh, like really? these, these bottles. Swimmingly. Are, yeah. Exactly. As a. Now let's do the last one. Okay. The last one here is. Um, I stand here with hair in the postkasten. So I'm standing here with my hair in the mailbox. What standing could, here with my hair in the mailbox. Yeah, what could that possibly? I'm stuck. Be? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. Is that? Yeah. Some, something like that, yeah. more like, uh, so I'm here, uh, you you put me, or this put me in this situation yeah. where I'm just stuck yeah. here with yeah. my, uh, I obviously wouldn't know how that yeah. feels. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Maybe like in, like when you're 12 or 13. Yep. <laughs> so I'm stuck here uh, and I can't, can't go, get out of this situation yeah. and, 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 and I'm really stuck here and, and it's kind of a blaming situation. Oh, where you, like put you put me, me in the mailbox. Yeah, and, you put my head in the mailbox. Yeah, you put, in the mailbox. took my hair toward you and put it in the mailbox. All right. Yeah, I think. Um, okay, so I, I think we've we've been we've been in Jutland. We've been in southern Denmark. We've been in yeah. Copenhagen. I, we've been in the archipelago. We've been to my home city, Farum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's, even though this is. Getting to know Denmark and Christmas and beer. Yeah. Let, let's try and go a little south. Yeah. And, and see what happens south of the border. Because the idea of Christmas, I mean, I'm a big fan of Left. That's one of my favorite beers. And Left Noel is superb. Mm. That's not what we're drinking, but oh. there's really good Christmas brews from other parts of the world as well in Europe. So yeah. I do think it's time to try something outside of Denmark. And we can then see where it lands on the very official looking magic quadrant compared to the Danish beers. Yeah. And will the Danish beers prevail? Let's see. Maybe we'll need to move the axis. That's true. It's quite possible. So, yeah. all right. Let's try some non-Danish Christmas beers now. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have this German beer, Double Bock, Oak Smoked. And I was going to wow. tell a quick story about the fact that the word kiln is in the description. Mm. So one of my old bosses here in Denmark, I was talking to him once and he was trying to describe to me, um, his wife was making pottery and he was going to build this thing to bake the pottery in. And I said, oh, a kiln. And he goes, no, no, no. It's this thing that you put pottery in that you can, you know, bake it. I said, it's called a kiln. And he's like, no, no, no. It's this thing that you, and I'm like, it's called a kiln. <laughs> And he said, you you Americans have so many words. Yeah. Because in Danish, they wouldn't invent a new word for this. You'd yeah. probably call it some kind it's of just, oven. Just another oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a word for it, and it's called kiln. Nice. And apparently this was kilned. And Oh, nice. Uh, there's some decent head to it, for sure. Yep. As promised. Very th oh, wow. Oh, I could smell I the can, smoky. Can, Holy moly. Very smoky. Like, ridiculous you can smell. That's like clear. I'm not even going to drink it yet. And I'm going to talk about how I, so, you know, because I went, when I came to your house, I was on my way to the butcher to get some, I don't know what I bought that day, but something to smoke because I love to smoke things. Mm. So this smells like my smoker smells when yeah. I'm like taking, you know, pork or 
whatever out of it. Mm. This is the exact smell. Yeah. It's very, very... Wow, this is amazing. True, true to its description. I don't even know if I want to taste it. I want to keep smelling it. Yeah. I feel like I'm smoking. I, now I want to... I wish I had this with like, you know, like some kind of uh, pulled pork or something. Yeah. yeah. And you can taste the smokiness. I think it's crazy how you can bottle something like this. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, and I don't say amazing. I mean... The amazing statement has to do with the fact that it's been bottled. Not necessarily that the flavor is the best thing I've ever had in my life, right? Yeah. But being able to capture that yeah. and bottle it is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I put, I mean, wow. I just can't, I don't even, even as I drink the sips, it's like, it doesn't even take much to taste it. Mm. It's like no other beer I tasted. I would agree. Hey, hey, Miranda, you need to come and taste this. Okay. But you should taste it where we could see you. <laughs> we share. Uh, we can. We share germs. We could share germs as that yeah. happened I years mean, ago. I don't know. We've been know. isolated for two this. weeks together, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all the stuff we did to prep for this. I mean, it's been a long journey, buddy. But I'm so yeah. glad you came out for the yeah. two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> taste your journey. Sure my family misses me by now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this taking so long? All right. Yeah. So you don't know anything about what you're, what do you think? Because you missed the description. What do you taste here? Creosote. Like, <laughs> the inside of a chimney. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> wow. This, this tastes like, so my grandfather was notorious for building just ridiculously huge fires in his fireplace with pine wood. And every now and then he'd like smoke us out. Mm -hmm. And there would just be like smoke billowing into the living room and we're all like, this this tastes like what my grandfather's living room smelled like when he would accidentally build too big of a fire. And it's like every little taste, every now sip. Now it's like bacon. Yeah. Oh, bacon, I didn't quite taste that, but I could see that maybe being. Yeah. Yeah, smoked like a smoked bacon. bacon. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah I see Ooh, or it's like smoked almonds or something. More bacony though. Yeah, I, 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 the I, meat, I meat, think the, I think the, the bacon, meat is there. Bacon, yeah. yeah. But I mean, the first sip I had, and even I smelled it a bunch before I drank it, and it smelled just like the smoker mm. when I. I, I have it up. to say, it's growing on me. The yeah. first, the first sip, like. I mean, chimney. It's overwhelming. And, yeah, <laughs> it's not really like not, who crawls up a tasteful. chimney and. Yeah, like starts no. like chiseling away at so <laughs> in order to put it in a drink. That is very Christmassy, that's, isn't it? Actually, that's I great. would say that's true. That's uh, a chimney is basically is utilized a, more Christmas than anything. The, it's the Yule Man brew. Yeah. Okay, so, so we need to stick it on the board though. Yep. This every time I look at this, I'm just so it sounds like we agreed on it being somewhat Christmassy, and you thought it was really good beer, and I thought it was middle. So it's it's uh, little. Yeah, I'd go with that. Yeah, right Something there. Like that. Okay, I see a cluster here. I do, but I think yeah. that's again. I think it's because we've been making good decisions. I think so. Or we made good decisions earlier. Clean out our. Oh, sorry. There you go, man. Oh, geez, this has been this has been exciting. Yeah, a ton of fun, and I have to say. I, so we started this channel in August, I guess, Ooh. and uh, still smoking my water. <laughs> it is. I yeah. can smell. Yeah, that's true. Sorry about that. It tri <laughs> Please tell me you got in the bucket these floors. Do you want more water just to make sure the smoke is? Uh, I feel like we need to do a round too. Yeah, yeah. So this uh, Tongelo or Tongelo from Sh Belgium. Tongelo. Tongelo. It's uh, authentic, authentic, authentic. I know. I was it's trying a, to say it in Belgian French or ah, Flemish. Okay, okay Flemish. Authentic. de Abbe Abbe Belge. Yeah. So it's an Abbey. Genuine Belgian Abbey beer. That's yeah. in English. So this is like Christmas Noel. Really good Belgium stuff. And this, I how how much? Uh, how many percent? 
Eight? No, seven. Seven. Okay. It tells us eight is what we're supposed to serve it at. And it says, don't drink it if you're pregnant. This looks like a devil. And this says you can recycle it. I'm very excited about this because I love Belgian beers. So there's a risk that you have your expectations on. Uh, that is absolutely true, yes. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> so I, I actually would like to redo this in Belgium with you. This sounds like a super good idea. So these lights I have, by the way, yeah. they're not that big. We could take them with us. We're, maybe we need to do a part, by that point it might be part seven. Yep. <laughs> Belgian beer tasting on a nice Belgian tour. That would be fantastic. You have good ideas, Peter. You got good beer. <laughs> well, you brought this one. I know. <laughs> Cheers, school. School. I would say that this is probably one of the best beers I've had for a very long time. However, it's not the most Christmassy beer I've had. I would agree with that as well. I'm, I wonder though if it's just because of how much beer we've had. How that much a, Christmas spirit we've, we've, we've been, been uh, just this aura of Christmas and just like we've been emitting <laughs> just like <laughs> rainbows of Christmas yeah. in the direction of the camera all yeah. night. So yeah. is that affecting that? I think so. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Because I feel like if this is the only beer I had today, I'd be like, well, this is a pretty good Christmas beer. Yeah. And a good smell. So uh, I have this, uh, this Christmas sensation right now that I could really see myself drinking this over a very sweet beer because I'm not really that sweet beer kind of guy. Uh -huh. so, so I'm going to go all in with beer. Because yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go with uh, four or great for for the rating. Yeah. So I was similar, just a little lower, but I think that would put us around. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just over, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the best beer I had today. Wow. Yeah. As a beer. As a beer. But yeah. not the best Christmas beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where does that leave us with the Homer Award? Well, well, I mean, I guess factoring everything, and if we think about magic quadrants in general, mm -hmm. then I would absolutely think that uh, yeah. this guy is the uh, is the the winner of the day. Skolust. Skolust, yeah. Skolust. Would you, you agree? Yeah. Can you grab the bottle yes. so we can put the tag on it? It's hiding right here. Woohoo! Yes, <clears throat> this should be served in Moe's Tavern. I think so in Denmark at least, and uh, I I think that even Homer would drink it probably. Well, he has different standards than us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you never know. You never even drink anything, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so one of the things I really like about Skoldust is that you can just. You can go there, you can try, they always have some new beer, some fresh yeah. tastes and you can try and, and they will challenge your taste in beer and your, the season probably and you can sit down and have a decent lunch or you can just have a sandwich or a an open face sandwich, it's a yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Small bro. Small bro. Small bro. Yeah, small bro. Small bro. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm trying. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just have an idea. Yeah, okay. So the next time I will see you is just probably going to be after New Year. Yep. And let's meet in uh, in Skolnus and tell them about this. I like this idea. Yeah. And uh, and see if they got any more Yulebog. Yeah, maybe. And if yeah. they're not, if they're all out or whatever, let's try something else. <laughs> I like this idea and we yeah. can uh, sit and have lunch. Josh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me home. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, uh, lasting out a 14-day uh, quarantine <laughs> yeah, together Just with me. to be able yeah. to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you everybody for uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, our Christmas brew um, yeah. episode of the uh, of the YouTube, yeah. and uh, we've got other things popping up pretty soon. We're going to be uh, showing our episode on colding. You were not with us, Peter, but Miranda and I went to colding and brisket over there. Um, went to colding recently and this this might pieces of this might become part of the Christmas um, episode we're trying to put together of course we've had some limitations because of COVID there's a lot of places we couldn't go like Tivoli we plan to go to today for example so we'll see what comes of that but this may be pieces of that because this is all about Christmas brew lots of interesting things coming up hopefully so uh, please subscribe we enjoy it 
thank you again, Peter, for joining us. I appreciate your uh, uh, your the, what you brought, your insights, your amazing. I mean, this is just amazing. I can't say it enough. I feel like I need you to bring you to like family reunions, and we can find like we can rank family members. <laughs> on, on magic those who are present at Thanksgiving, maybe. Imagine and then magic rating friends. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and this putting is, it in front of them, or yeah, just yeah. posting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best. So yeah. thank you for all your hard work and joining us. I appreciate it. So thank you, sir. And Anytime. we'll see you. Bye, bye.